what's up guys, CJR here today and I'm joined first by Andrew. And we're just gonna quickly show you some of the stuff that we got for Christmas, Christmas. right? Um, I'm quickly gonna get this out of the way. Uh, Harmonix, um, the rock band people were nice enough to send me or send us the full rock band kit. So this is kind of like a Christmas gift for me. Uh, this is rock band rivals. It's got some crazy new, uh, they call it rockumentary or rocky drama mode where it's like full motion video in there and everything. It sounds amazing. I haven't played a rock band game for, um, since two, I, I skipped three. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to get mad over here and we're going to do a little video on this. So stay tuned for that. It was actually kind of cool. I got a little letter from harmonics. That's kind of cool. So we're going to do a video on that coming soon. You want to show something? It's your turn. Go. I got star screen. Star screen. That's right. I'm going to hold it out there. What does he turn into? A jet. A jet. This was one of my favorite um, transformers as a kid. So that's very cool. Right? We can put him with our uh, devastator. Let's put him right here for now. Yay. Put him right here. And then, really and then we never touch him ever again, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I picked up a board game. I was actually pretty excited to try this one out. Uh, it's called Code Names. Um, I'm not going to explain how it works, but uh, it was like $18 on Amazon, regular $29.99 here in Canada. So, pretty excited to try that one. Um, yep. So, I got a slinky and. It goes really fast. He really wanted a slinky. Pretty cool. Um, some non-gaming type stuff. I'm gonna show off. Uh, okay, so there's a guy here, a local graphic designer, makes really cool uh, shirts, pens, uh, beer glasses. Uh, he goes by it's B R F C. It's Bareface Design, and his website is bareface.ca. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, you may have seen me wearing some of his hats and shirts in my in previous videos. Uh, yeah, bareface.ca. So I'll start off with the uh, beer glasses here. Really, really, I love this style. Um, drink beer from here. That's kind of Ontario specific. But here's a more general one. Drink local. It's got a little, these are all his design. He makes, he, he's really impressive. I've actually been thinking about getting him to do a, seeing if he can do a logo for me. Uh, this is a Expo 67, I believe they're calling a shirt. Uh, he did that. And then I got a drink local shirt. It's all like local craft beer. He does a lot of the designs for all the, uh, for a lot of the local craft breweries for their clothing and actually does some cans too. He's really talented. Uh, Trans Canada Highway enamel pin. If you're Canadian, you'll have some connection to that. And then the Expo 67. I believe it's an Expo 67 pin. I forget what they call that. So, uh, bareface.ca. Awesome, awesome shirts, pins, hats, beer mugs, all that kind of stuff. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, yeah. I, I got a real camera. Andrew got, Andrew did really well this year. So he got the, it's the Nikon Coolpix S33. Why don't you tell them more about it? What does it do? Waterproof. Made from it's waterproof camera, so you can take pictures underwater or videos. Yeah. Um, Andrew's taken an interest in stealing our cell phones, and and we'll look at them later and find all these pictures. He likes taking pictures of his toys and stuff, um, and he's actually pretty good. I think he takes better pictures than my wife does, so he can make his own videos, right? Take pictures. And this is what it's made from. Bye -bye. Let's put it over there. So you got a Nikon Coolpix camera. Uh, it's a really good camera for like a kid's first camera. Not super expensive, but it's it's not really cheap. It's got a lithium ion battery, so it's it's still a, a, a decent camera. It's shock proof, so it'll survive a lot. It doesn't have a lens that comes out, so that's all the stuff you have to worry about breaking with kids. Um, okay, this was like a pre-Christmas gift from my wife. I mentioned that I wanted to play this. Um, Dead Rising 4. Uh, I heard that uh, I, I, I pre-ordered this. I canceled the pre-order just because I didn't think I was going to get to it with uh, Final Fantasy and Forza and other stuff I was playing. Um, then I heard that it was kind of 
it was Christmas themed and it took place at Christmas and I always wanted a Christmas game to play at Christmas. So I was like, okay, I gotta try this out. And it dropped $49.99. Uh, it's it's $39.99 in the States. So the price was right. I'm absolutely loving this game. I'll talk more about this later, but this is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it, especially for 40 or 50 bucks in Canada. Okay, buddy. Get this one out of the way. Oh. No, tell them what it is. It's Pie in the Face. This is Pie in the Face Showdown. So if you follow me on Instagram, link in the description below, you'll see me and Matt went head to head and you can see who won. But uh, basically it's head to head and you have to tap the button faster than the other person and if whoever loses gets the pie in the face. It's classic pie in the face with a, a new mechanic that makes it a lot more fun in my opinion. So they got that. Next up for me, I'll, I'll show off my two vinyl pickups here. Uh, I picked up two Tribe Called Quest albums. Um, the newest one, oh god, I forget what it's called. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a long, long title. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Tribe Called Quest, the newest one. Uh, it's it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, pretty much every song on here is great. Uh, it's one of those albums you can just play from beginning to end. I love that kind of stuff. Really, really good album. Highly recommend you guys. You buy that. I actually bought it on CD already. I just wanted to support it um, by buying both. And then Beats, Rhymes, and Life, Tribe Called Quest, one of my favorite albums of all time. Absolutely love Tribe. Probably my, I don't know, probably my favorite hip hop group of all time. Between them and Wu Tang, I would think. All right, buddy, your turn. Ooze. Yeah. Ooze. You got some ooze. He's been wanting ooze for years. And finally, Santa came through and found some ooze for him. And I got a turtle in. Yeah, there's a little turtle that floats inside the ooze. I don't know if you can see that, but he loves this stuff. All right, it's, uh, I'll show off this one. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Insane. Okay, I'll tell you right now, four games in a row, four PS4 games in a row have come to me with the disc loose in the case. So clearly there's an issue. Let me know if that's happening to you guys. I swear to God, four games straight now that I've got, the, the disc has come loose inside the case when I received it and it's just floating around in there. Four in a row. Something's going on at the uh, disc making or the case making factory. It's not even broken in there. I guarantee it. The, the last three were not broken. It's just the disc pops out somehow. So they need to fix that. Let me know if that's happened to you guys. It's super annoying. Um, I did, did I even mention uh, Dragon Quest Builders? Uh, kind of a mix between Minecraft and a light-hearted um, kind of basic um, combat system RPG. I thought it'd be a fantastic uh, first RPG for Andrew and I to play together. No? Yes. Okay, buddy, you're next. Go. I got this Mario game that comes with this that came out of the box. Yeah, what is it? it? What is it? Oh, a 2DS. He got his own 2DS. And you get to build different levels. Yeah. For other people. Andrew, I'm really impressed with how quickly he picks things up. He built. He was building a level for me this morning, right? And then I was trying to beat it. So Mario Maker on the 3DS and his 2DS. Great first um, handheld system for kids. He's having a lot of fun playing that. You want to show off this one? Yeah. <coughs> Angry Birds Ang Star Wars. Angry Birds Star Wars. So you have to pull the swing, the slingshot very far away and then it breaks the castles. Yeah, and you try and get the pigs, right? Yeah. Do you remember what that one's called? Doodle jump. Doodle jump, and I get to make. I don't. I didn't play yeah, this. Yeah, you gotta one try this I one. Know. I tried this one. It's actually pretty good. Oh yeah, it's a golf ball one. Clearance at EB Games. For two bucks. Two dollars each. So. And the biggest thing we got that we already have is Skylanders. Yeah, that's a different one though. That one's for the 3DS. And we have another one down there. Yeah, that we still haven't played, right? Yeah. We never opened that. <laughs> From last Christmas. Uh, I actually heard this is quite good. I watched the um, classic game room review on this and he yeah. thought it was, he was really impressed by this. Uh, it's different than the console one, obviously, but he said it was quite good. It's super cheap, like 
Very cheap. Uh, that's it for Andrew's stuff and my stuff. I'm going to quickly bring in Teddy and he's going to show you a couple things that he got. Ah! Okay. <laughs> All right, here comes Teddo. Hey, okay everybody, here's Teddy. He wants to show you his stuff. Go. This is the trash and it is in probably in here. And my yeah. tools. Your tools. It's a truck and it opens up the top. It's a tool box. And you can take apart all the wheels and put them back together, right, Ted? Yeah. Okay, let's put it back in. We gotta show them your next thing, okay? What's and next? My dad has bows that they got right. This is a brooder tractor. These are quite expensive. Who gave you this? Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, my wife's brother. Pretty nice tractor. What about your hat? Tell them about your hat. It says it's on it a go butter. And it saves no ghosts allowed. No ghosts allowed, right? But what it says up here, it says, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> and show them this guy. Who's this? Uh, Tracker. Tracker? Where, where's he from? What show is he from? The, the Paw Patrol. What? Say that again. Where's he from? The Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Teddy loves Paw Patrol. And this is Tracker's car. Yep, that's his car. Okay, now show them this guy. This is my remote control car. Yeah, you got a remote control car. Oh, well, the part is at Grandma's. Yeah, he left the controller part at Grandma's. I have to get it. Yeah, we have to get it. Remote control truck for Teddy. Uh, this was $15. Yeah. At uh, Canadian Tire in Canada. I just, this was, yeah. I don't, I'm just trying to remember. It got Santa two feet. 15 bucks. It works great. I'm really impressed. I found some really good deals this Christmas. And look at the in there. It's two feet. I mean, it's not the greatest one ever, but it works great. It drives perfectly, um, kills batteries in about an hour. And then what are, what's this? We got a game? Paw Patrol game. game. It's like, I don't know, like Trouble? Is it Trouble or Sorry? Trouble. Trouble is the one with the button in the middle, right? So he got that too. He got a bunch of, both kids got more stuff. I just told him to pick a few things to show. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's our Christmas pickups, or most of them at least. Um, stay tuned. The room tour will be posted this Wednesday, um, probably around 12 or 1 o'clock. So stay tuned for that. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you had a good Christmas. Let me know in the comments below what you got, what your favorite thing you got for Christmas was, gaming related or whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so, you can subscribe here and feel free to check out one of our previous videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Say bye, Ted. Bye.